Hello and welcome to the Glen Allen Experience where we showcase the people and places that make Glen Allen, Illinois a unique place to shop, dine, work, and play. I'm your host, Meredith Hanna, and today we're at Clued In Escape Rooms at 440 Roosevelt Road in Glen Allen. And I'm joined today by owner, Brian Summer of Clued In Escape Room. Hello! Hi, Brian. Thanks so much for having us today. Thanks for coming out. So tell us a little bit about Clued In Escape Rooms. What is it? Well, um, uh, escape rooms are a live action game uh, where a group of people go into a, uh, a themed room where they need to solve a series of puzzles, riddles, and games to either escape from the room or solve a mystery, destroy a demon, something along that lines. So what made you decide that this is what you wanted to do? Uh, well, I've been doing escape rooms for about two years now. I've done uh, over a dozen of them. And uh, even for a while, I was working at an escape room. And uh, while I was there, I kind of learned the ins and outs of how an escape room would work and um, really wanted to design my own and ended up things didn't work out there. So I decided I wasn't happy at my full-time job. So I took the risk and well, here we are a year later. Well, we are so glad you're here in Glen Ellen because this is definitely an up and coming trend. We've seen them popping up all over the place. So we are glad we have our very own <laughs> people too. So what will people find when they come to Clued in Escape Rooms? Well, we're going to be featuring a number of different themes, uh, each with their own storyline. For example, uh, right now we've got the Asylum. And when people enter the Asylum, uh, they've agreed to partake in a psychological study. Uh, but before they know it, things turn sinister and they're fighting for their lives. Sounds pretty scary. <laughs> well, it's still considered PG-13, okay. but, but there's some pretty exciting uh, moments in it. So PG-13, but what ages typically for, um, maybe for your other rooms too, like what, what's a good age to bring? Well, family? I would say junior high and up. Okay. Um, anything younger than that, they might not quite get the uh, puzzles. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely anyone that's under 16, well, we do want to parent with them, uh, you know, just to help them out. Yeah. Uh, but we've, uh, we've even had uh, birthday parties for 12-year-old girls that came in here the other day and they had an absolute blast. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. I know my kids would love it. Yeah, and the, love doing it. and the adults are having fun with it too. Yeah. Um, we've had uh, people just going out for a night out, or mm -hmm. we've had uh, parties. Uh, we've started doing some fun things with birthdays, and we even have a proposal that'll be coming up soon. Mm, that sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> How many people can come in for um, an event? Well, that's going to also depend on the game. Uh, right now, the Asylum works best with six people, okay. but we could take anywhere from two to six. Mm -hmm. um, if some people ask for uh, more, we can kind of work with it, but we don't want to uh, put too many people in a small room. Sure. Uh, future games will feature anywhere from up to eight players, maybe 12. It's going to really depend on what we design. So what are some other ideas? We've got the Asylum. What other ideas are you cooking up for escape rooms? Well, we're also going to end up having the Game Master. And in the Game Master, the mayor's been kidnapped, and it's a mayor you like. Uh, so it's up to you guys to rescue him. And he's been kidnapped by the, the Game Master, who likes to theme all of his uh, puzzles and riddles around board games and video games. In fact, this is going to end up being one of the things that we will be featuring in, uh, in the Game Master. Okay, Ryan, so puzzles and riddles to get through the escape rooms. What kinds of, could you give us some clues and <laughs> clue in room about some ideas we might encounter? Well, there's going to be all sorts of puzzles. Ones that will both challenge your mind, sometimes you need to think outside the box, and sometimes they'll be even, you know, very minor physical challenges. For example, I've got two separate puzzles right here. Uh, for example, someone might find this funky thing uh, early on in the game, and they won't know what to do with it. Um, and then, as they progress, they might find a bobble game. So they might look at it and have a lock that has letters on it. So they've got to try to figure out, well, we've got a lot of things that we could use here. How would we be able to figure it out? And if they place this piece in just the right spot, it reveals a word. Okay. And then that could open the box. And then other times they might need to do some minor physical challenges. For example, we've got a giant Pac-Man board here. It's great. So if they end up moving the Pac-Man around and solving the maze, something might end up happening. So it may be something would lower from the ceiling, or a, a, a door that was closed would open, or a lock that was locked might open. So uh, those are all sorts of things that you'll end up finding in an escape room. You know, everyone likes to come to an escape room. We've seen uh, families, we've seen date nights, we've had uh, birthday parties here, bachelor, bachelorette parties, um, and corporate team building. 
Uh, this is a great experience for businesses to come in uh, because you need to do a lot of communication and problem solving in there. So it's a lot of fun for that. And we're always looking for fun new ways for people to use us. And uh, we're open to all sorts of ideas. For example, I, I did mention earlier that there was going to be a proposal happening here mm -hmm. soon. So we're going to have someone as the final uh, step in our escape room. He's going to end up proposing to his, uh, his girlfriend. So we're really excited about that. That is very cool, and we'll make sure this airs after that. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, and that's so great. So how do people find out? Do they call to book their time, or is it, are they able to book it online? In fact, we uh, recommend people book it online. Okay. Uh, they go to uh, cluedinescaperooms.com. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a big Book Now button right in the center. And when you click on that, it will show you what games we have, uh, give you a description of them, uh, pricing and availability. It's very easy to use. There are always going to be people here to help you, whether it be myself or one of my employees. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have game monitors in there. Um, they'll either be in the room or be able to give you clues and help you along remotely. Uh, there are no limit to the number of clues you can ask here. There's no penalty. Uh, we try to differentiate ourselves from some other places by making it as fun of an experience for you as possible, while still challenging. <laughs> Is there a time limit? Yes, you okay. have an hour. One hour. Figure you it have out. one hour. And um, it's really about the journey. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone has fun whether they make it out or not. Uh, to give you a little example right now, currently the asylum, about 40% of the people make it out. So it's a challenge. Yeah. Uh, but it's not impossible. So Brian, if I've already done the asylum and I love it and the game room is going to open very soon, what, um, where else can I find you guys? Well, we're trying to do all sorts of things around the area. Uh, for example, we're doing mini pop-up escape rooms. So uh, we've been going to breweries lately where you can do a free 15-minute escape room game. Uh, so you can check out the website to find out where we're going to be next with that. Um, and then we're also uh, looking at some other ideas. Uh, for example, we're going to be combining an art show with an escape room. So a local uh, artist collective called Studio 630 will be coming in here, hanging up some of their artist's work for sale, but then we're also going to end up having an escape game uh, put around that. What a great concept. Yeah, so we will be uh, coming up with all sorts of different ways for people to experience escape rooms coming up soon. Thank you to Clued In Escape Rooms and Brian for hosting us today. And thank you for joining us. Remember, when in the Chicago area, to visit Glen Ellen's unique places to shop, dine, work, and play. And I'll see you on the next installment of the Glen Ellen Experience. <laughs>